everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to customize a very special doll today we are going to repaint this beautiful black shadow high doll i have bought her already a while ago like approximately the day it was released because i really love this collection of shadow high dolls but you know with all these halloween specials christmas specials holidays i simply had no time to start working on this beauty and today is finally the day. Today we are going to unbox her because it became a really little bit dusty this box. So we are going to open it, we are going to take a look at all her accessories and outfits and shoes at all these details and then we are going to give this doll a complete makeover. It's going to be very exciting. I really love special unusual dolls. At least here on our market we don't have that many really pure black dolls. So it's going to be very interesting. So guys let's unbox this doll. Let's take a closer look at her and of course please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes this being said, let's unbox this doll. First of all, I want to say that I absolutely love the style of this doll. She looks so classy, so, I don't know, luxurious, like a rich girl. She has two different outfits and two different pairs of shoes and everything looks really beautiful, I have nothing to say about it. She has super long and beautiful hair and I'm going to keep her hair and I will dye all these light strands later. So, let's undress her, let's cut off the eyelashes, let's wipe off her face with pure acetone and then we'll see what I can do about this doll, how I can change her. Good, now we'll seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will start working on her face. And you know, drawing on a solid black surface is a really tricky business and I will immediately show you why. Look, I want to use this beautiful green pastels as her eyeshadows. It's a really nice pigmented and very saturated color. It actually looks a little bit lighter on camera, I don't know, probably when I turn it into the side like this, it looks closest to its real color, it's a little bit darker in reality. So now let's apply it around her eyes, seal it with Mr. Super Clear to protect the layer. And everything disappeared, just 
disappears. That's it. Because this sealant, it makes pastels see-through. And the black base, it just absorbs all the pigments that I apply on top of it. I try to layer the pastels, but even after six layers, I still have absolutely nothing visible on her face. Actually, I see it on camera now that you can see a little bit like a greenish tint on her eyelids. In reality, I can see absolutely nothing of it. Like, camera makes everything a little bit lighter. So, in reality, it's just plain black. So, to solve this situation, I'm going to apply a couple of layers of white pastels, first of all, to create a nice background. And then I will add green and blue eyeshadows on top of it. And my fantasy for this week's project is to make a peacock queen. I want this doll to look like a piece of jewelry, really like something from a fairy tale. All shiny, all gorgeous. And the color scheme for this doll will be green and blue with some golden accents and black, of course. So I think it should be cool. I want to give her golden eyes, so now I'm drawing some brown yellowish eyes and then later I will cover them with a thin layer of golden acrylics. Okay, this is where I am right now with this project and I think it's time to add some special glow using my favorite iridescent paint. You know, I don't really run out of art supplies that often because all these doll things are quite tiny. But you know, I had to repurchase the blue and the green colors of this iridescent paint this week because the first two bottles were already empty. So I will spray the blue paint all over her face with accents on the most highlighted areas and then I will add green on top of her eyeshadows. And after this, I will add gold to her irises and I also want to give her gold eyebrows.
so this is it. You can see that this kind of paint looks simply amazing on a black surface and it kind of reminds me of that shine of a peacock tail. So we are done with this part of the project. Now it's time to make an outfit and I've bought this beautiful fabric for this doll. I think this is just the perfect peacock fabric. So now I want to make some sort of a, like kimono but with a very white and maybe even a puffy skirt. So I begin with making a kimono looking top and then I will attach a big skirt to it. I think the dress looks already really great. I really love this style of dresses. But now we're going to make it even more special because we're going to decorate it with these peacock feathers. I've bought especially for this project. And first of all, I will attach this long feather to the front of the skirt. And after this, I will make a tail reminding of a peacock tail out of the rest of the feathers. So this is the tail that I've made, like some fan, peacock fan, and now I'm going to attach this tail to the back of the outfit. And then I'm going to complete the look with this belt made out of this beautiful ribbon. I should make a dress out of this ribbon this summer, because it's such a pretty ribbon, it would make a perfect summer dress. Check it out! This is her finished dress and I think it looks amazing, really, like from a fairy tale. Very pretty, I'm super happy about it. Now we still need a pair of shoes and I think I will customize these original shoes. I really like the shape of them and also the fitting, but I'm going to change them, of course. I want them to become a pair of golden sandals to fit her blue and golden look. So first I will remove these plastic stones from the shoes, then I will fill in the holes left after it, and then I will cover them with the gold leaf.
So I've got beautiful golden sandals as a result. And now I want to take these tiny golden feathers and I want to attach them to the front of the shoes. Also kind of to remind of the peacock tail. Great! The shoes look beautiful and they will really fit the dress. They go really good with the rest of the look. But anyway, nobody will never see them under this dress. But they are there and they look good. So now I think it's time to work on her hair. And first of all, I'm going to dye this strand of white hair with this fabric dye. I think it will work good this time because her hair is really snow white with a little bit grayish. So if you remember, I've struggled with it a little bit in my last video when I was making the Harley Quinn doll uh, because of the yellow undertone of her blonde hair, of Harley's hair. But this time it's all good. We have a perfect white base. And yes, I get a very, very, very pretty blue teal color in the end. Actually, I would dye my own hair with this teal blue because this is such a pretty color. So now let's style it and I think I want to give her two messy space buns. So I'm starting with curling her hair. Well guys, I curled her hair, I went to bed, woke up the next day and the curls are gone. Like there's almost nothing left because this is that type of hair that doesn't hold the curl and it's also very silky and it's very difficult to style in general. So let's make messy buns using a different method then. Good, the front looks really good, I really love it. The back is a little bit messy, I'm sorry guys, but it was really difficult to style, so I had to add a ton of tiny clips to hold it all in place, so it's not really perfect at the back, but nobody will see it there really, the, the front is perfect. So now I'm going to decorate her hair with peacock feathers, and then I will attach eyelashes, earrings, and add gloss to her eyes and lips. And I want to give her really huge eyelashes to give her a really extra look. And when I put everything together, I've suddenly realized that this neck area still looks a little bit empty. 
quality. So I will add these golden stickers to it to look like a necklace. guys this is my finished peacock princess and you know i really think she looks like a real fairy tale character like some magic bird woman from a dream all colorful all shiny maybe a little bit strange and unusual but i think she's really gorgeous and really special like this doll was already very pretty in the beginning before my makeover it's not a case of an ugly doll transformation it was vice versa an attempt to make a beautiful doll even more beautiful and you know i think it worked She's really from another world now. Her dress looks fantastic. I'm really happy I found this fabric. It wouldn't be the same without it. And the peacock feathers are sealing the look. Of course, they're very important in this project. Well, it was a very interesting and unusual transformation this week. Something a little bit different for once. And, you know, I enjoyed it really from the beginning till the end. So I really hope it was interesting for you as well. And I'm, of course, looking forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions about this makeover. So let's discuss it in the comments. And if you want to buy this doll, you can check my eBay. She's there for three days right now. So the link to it you can find in the description box under this video. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon. I don't know yet when. Maybe in two weeks. Maybe the next week, Friday. But anyway, it's going to be very soon. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.